Do online ads for certain companies seem to be following you everywhere online? <laughs> it's not paranoia. You've been retargeted. After the break, I'll tell you what retargeting is and all the kinds of dentists who should or shouldn't be doing it. Welcome to the Patient Attraction Podcast. I'm Colin Receiver. Now, retargeting, also called remarketing, it's been around for a few years. It's basically a cookie or IP-driven process that keeps you top of mind to someone who's visited your website. And yet, first, it might seem a little creepy to have an ad for your practice pop up on other websites, but it works. Big companies have been using retargeting for quite a while, and certain smaller companies can now benefit too. The first question to ask yourself is how many visitors you're getting on your website each month. By one estimate, you should have 5,000 visitors a month to make it worth the expense. But if you're not getting that kind of traffic, why not? If you're in a larger metro area, you should have that much traffic, or your website, its content, and your website SEO must suck. If your site approaches 5,000 visitors, consider using a retargeting service like Google AdWords or Perfect Audience. The more you can segment your audience by demographics and dental needs, the better. Your website content should include a call to action, click, download, email, or best yet, a phone call. That lets you track your return on investment. Remember that someone will have to monitor the retargeting program. And if you or a staff member can't spare the time, hire somebody to do it for you. Until tomorrow, keep moving forward.